Okay guys, we are starting with something new. We'll be solving problems from this book. One of the famous books, world renowned books, Fundamentals of Physics by Helade Resnick Walker. And we are starting with chapter 21. Chapter 21. I'm planning to solve first elixir and magnetism part of this chapter. So I'm starting with chapter 21, which is Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law. So without wasting time, let's move on. I'll read out the question. I'm using 8th edition, by the way. Okay, 8th edition. Question number one, problem number one, simple problem. What must be the distance between uh, point charges Q1 and Q2 for electrostatic force between them to have magnitude? Okay. So we are given two charges. Q1 is given to be 26 microcoulomb and Q2 is given as minus 47 microcoulomb. So micro, we have to multiply it by 10 to the power minus 6. Force is given between them. Force is equal to 5.7 newtons. Okay, 5.7 newtons. 5.7 newtons. We had to find out distance between them. Okay, we had to find out distance between them. So it's very simple, simple application of Coulomb's law. We already know the equation. Coulomb's force is equal to gamma q1 q2 divided by r square. I'm using gamma for the electrostatic constant and q1 and q2 are given. We have to find out this r. So we can rearrange this equation and I'll take this r upstairs here. r square is equal to gamma q1 q2 divided by f. Divided. Now let's uh, substitute the values. So R square is equal to gamma is 10, 9 into 10 to the power 9 SI system uh, into Q1. Q1 is 26 micro coulomb. So 26 into 10 to the power minus 6 micro. Micro is 10 to the power minus 6. Then Q2 is 47 micro coulomb. 47 into 10 to the power minus 6. We are just using the magnitudes, values, okay, without the minus sign. Divided by force is given, uh, that is 5.7 newtons. So everything is in SI system. What we'll get will also be in SI system. So this implies R square, after solving this, I already worked this out. It comes out to be 192, 192.947, 9.47 into 10 to the power minus 2 10 to the power minus 2 so this means r is equal to uh, roughly 1.389 389 si system so meters everything was in si system so distance r will also be in si system so meters so approximately r is equal to 1.4 meters so the two charges are separated by a distance of 1.4 meters. Then only force between them will be 5 point force between the two. Two charges are unlike. This one is positive. This one is negative. So there must be an attractive force between them. Rest, we just need the magnitude. So distance between the two charges is 1.4 newtons. So very simple. Very simple application of Coulomb's law. Gamma Q1, Q2 divided by R squared. Okay.